Jake, thank you for joining us on RCFC TV. First of all, off the back of Saturday's 3-3 draw against Rangers, a great point and really defined everything that's been going well for the team in terms of character, commitment and fearlessness going forward. Yeah, I definitely think there's a good character in the group and we sh um, we showed that on Saturday, so we're looking forward to the next game now and working on that. Does a result like that on Saturday give you a lot of belief and encouragement going into the second half of the campaign, especially having had the winter break brought forward? Yeah, I think definitely playing against that calibre of team and showing what we can do and getting the point and potentially even pushing for the three points, which we thought we should have got. I think it shows great character and again, looking forward to the second half of the season. Obviously, the, the start of the season was a challenging one for you. The night before the first game, you had an injury. Tell us about the injury and talk us through almost that emotional barrier that you would have gone through in, in that 24-48 hour period. Yeah, so I think obviously the first the session before the um, first game of the season, I kind of pushed off my right foot and I kind of like heard like a crack feeling. And at first I didn't think it was too bad, but just to add an uh, x-ray to make sure to check what it was. And it turns out I had a fracture in my fifth metatarsal. I need a surgery, so and obviously the emotions there. I was, I was upset at the time. So I wanted to just keep playing, get start, and get playing, but obviously injuries happen, and I just bounced back from that. So, and you try and use that as your as your fuel almost when you do come back into the squad as well. Yeah, I think definitely like working hard to get back to get fitted to be stronger, and also I want to come here and prove to the manager, the fans, the players that I can come in and, and make a difference. When you do come back, you were kind of thrown in at the deep end. Does that almost make it easier, that, that game away at St Mirren? You, you probably still weren't match fit, but you went out there and you turned in an incredible performance down in Paisley that night. Yeah, I think it makes it easier. I think not, not much really to, to kind of think about and like dwell on my mind a bit. So kind of just get in there and get going was definitely good, yeah. Marshall gets himself into oh, trouble. Really. Jordan White goes down and it's in from Regan Charles Kirk. December as a month for the team was you could say exceptional, the, the amount of results and the points that were picked up. Given the start the team had had, that must have been great for you to come back and be part of that because it had been a challenging start, but then to come back in and get the results and get, get things moving and then eventually get off the bottom spot on the table. Yeah, I think definitely when I wasn't, when I was um, injured and I was at home watching the games, the results just weren't really coming our way. I think the performances that the boys showed, the results didn't really um, show what they were playing kind of thing. But then obviously to come back and then get the results it definitely felt good for me. But obviously great for the club as well, to climb the table as well. And it, it's great faith from the manager and the staff here as well to, to show that commitment to you that you can come straight back in and you can affect the game when you had been out so long. And sometimes in those situations, other players get comfortable in a specific position and that stays that way. Yeah, but I think, yeah, obviously it shows the trust that the manager and the staff showed in me. But I've kind of got to show that on the training pitch first before they decide to put me in the team. Jake, tell us a little bit about how you've adapted to the Highlands because it is a, a very different setting from what you're used to. It's a big transition for you. How did you find that that process of, of moving up to, the, to Inverness? Um, I think for me personally, I, don't, I enjoy it kind of thing. I enjoy being on new challenges and being away from home, which I've kind of been used to from my early, early age anyway. So it hasn't really been that much of a big transition in itself. And obviously this uh, end part of last season, I went out on loan further up up north and obviously this is a bit further but I've really enjoyed it and obviously everyone's helped me settled in everyone around the club the staff the fans the players have helped me massively how would you say that that Scottish football is compared to probably what you thought it was going to be coming up to Ross County in the summer I think obviously the Scottish football there's a lot, lot of talk about it in general down, down in England how the stand is high and it'd be a good challenge for for players on coming on loan or players coming to play in the league but I've definitely enjoyed it and the stand has been very high. What do you think are the, the lessons so far in the, the short space of time that you have had in Scotland? What are the lessons do you feel that you've learned from it and what do you feel it's, it's probably enhanced within your skill set? I think being on my own more in terms of like I'm almost growing up and obviously it's a, it's a men's football, so every game is important, you have to win. Like people rely on it, jobs rely on it, the fans rely on it. And obviously the players want to win and do well. From the from the teams you have played in, what what how unique is this dressing room in comparison to those other dressing rooms that you've been in? I think the boys we're we're really together. We kind of understand each other, know what each character has in the team. I think that kind of shows on the pitch in the more recent games where we kind of gel together. And we know what each and every player needs and wants, and I think that's that's showing out on the pitch. 
does it help in that environment when you do have three, four, five players on loan from other clubs as well who are in a very similar position to you? You've obviously got Ashmeen, our Brewer, Kane Ramsey that you know, Declan Drysdale, Jack Barrows, players like that, Joseph Angbo that are on loan from, from other clubs down in England. Yeah, I think it definitely helps. I think we kind of have that, that thing in common where we're all on loan and we kind of we can talk about it and but I don't think I think that's not really the problem in terms of on loan. I think you're here for the club and you're here for to like em, embrace the, the football of Scottish and play up here. So what are the, the kind of key things when you are a lone player deciding to come up to somewhere like Scotland? What 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 does your mentality have to be like coming into that? Because any loan move it, it is tough to come out of a club and go to another one just for that, that period of time. Yeah, I think when, when I first spoke to the manager about coming up here, he was like, you need to like kind of understand that when I'm up here, I am a Ross County player. Like that's kind of nothing, like the Southampton all that doesn't really, I'm here to play for Ross County. I'm here to do my best for the club and for myself and, and the team and the fans and everything. And obviously with the games you have played, what, what has the feedback been to, to you, maybe from friends, family, people at Southampton? Because you have impressed when you've been on the field for us. Yeah, I think um, I just want to do my best for for myself, for the team, for the club. And I think in terms of me as a player, I think the first couple of games coming back from injury, I need to get my sharpness, my match fitness. But I think you can now see that I'm getting up and down the pitch and putting crosses in and putting tackles in. And I think that's what they can expect from me more. I imagine Jake in the dressing room in recent times part of the conversation may have been about the, the band of supporters that we've started to get in the in the JLN, the young group. As a player, you know, we see it from the club having been here for a period of time that there are more fans coming through the gates here in Dingwall. There is a, a real feel-good vibe around the team at the moment within the stands. As a player, it, is that almost putting your stamp on a club that you can look back and say, well, you know, we played a part in such a good time at Ross County Football Club? Yeah, one hundred percent. I think the little um, fans we got at the end—they're they're definitely making the noise, and we can hear them, and we obviously acknowledge and are very happy that they're here and supporting us. And I think the the, the chairman's made it clear to every player and every like person in, in, involved with the club that it's a good club to be at, like, and the stepping forward is going to be very exciting.